Hey guys, so Heidi is over here. In case you guys don't know, Heidi is also a watercolor artist. I asked Heidi if they'd be willing to check out this box for me, this watercolor art snacks box, watercolor snacks. They have not been told anything that's in the box or given any sort of spoilers. So I look forward to hearing Heidi's opinion on this box. You ready to take over, Heidi? Sure. Okay, you're gonna need to clip this on you. Okay. And I'll put that right there. And that will give me like a three inch radius about. Ooh, I'll clip it on my taco shirt. What? I said I clipped it on my taco shirt. Just make sure it's the camera is catching it. Ah, I see. I can't get it any higher up. Okay. Well, we'll so do, you do our best. So do you know about this box? Uh, I like know that it's it cost art snacks. Like Wasn't this the box that cost like a crazy amount? Like way more than I think it should be? What do you, what do you think it cost? <sighs> Wasn't it like a hundred? No. No, that's not it? No. Okay. I don't think so. I don't know what the decision. That's, that's okay. I, I just wanted to see like how how prejudiced you were. Well, we have a mystery airheads. Yeah. You want it? I don't care for those. Oh, I used to love them as a kid. I don't know how much I like them now. You'll pull out your fillings if you have any. Oh, I have. I have a few. So we have Princeton brushes, which are okay. Three different sizes. That's good. We have. Plum Chester, guessing a fine liner? Yeah, a fine liner of some kind. I don't know anything about this brand. We have some core watercolors, which I really like. It looks like it is the bright set, maybe? Uh, it's not saying, but they have quinacridone gold. Pyrrole orange, quinacridone magenta, dioxazine purple, cobalt teal, and green gold. So some bright colors. Ah. They have a puzzle on how to get this, this paper out because it is perfectly in there. Let's see if I can flip it out. You can wreck the box. I don't care. I've already done the unboxing. It's just like shoved in there so perfectly. There we go. So we have some Windsor Newton watercolor paper, which I've never actually played with. Um, going to put the box down there. We've got this card about the science of watercolor. Pigments. Pigments are the particles that give watercolor paints their color. So it looks like it's just basic uh, stuff about pigments what is the high chroma set oh it says so right there and I just can't read so I think that it's an interesting set but I'm not quite sure why they gave you this set of core watercolors because this isn't a very good um, set that's like for mixing they're nice colors but they're not primary colors so you're not going to be able to do a whole lot with them just as is um, looking at the retail for these Princeton velvet touch brushes it says 3215 I'm like these brushes are not worth that these brushes, they look like they're decent synthetics. They look like they hold good points. They're not worth $32.15. If you want to mess with them, I don't know how tired you are or you will be. If you want to mess with them, you can. Okay. Um, I don't know if you want me to stop recording at any point. Uh, if, if at any point you don't want to. This button? No? What? I tried to find his email and I couldn't. Okay. Mm. He just responded and saying he um, executed his idea and linked the video. Okay. Yeah. Looking at these, 
You said you paid 80 for this? Yes, I think so. I'd have to double check, but I think it was like 80. Yeah, this isn't a set worth 80. Um, I've never tried the Winsor Newton watercolor paper, so I don't know how good or bad it is. That's the cellulose paper too. Ooh. So it should be nice paper, um, but I feel like, I mean, Winsor Newton is a good brand, but I feel like if they're gonna give you really good paper, they should give you like, um, Cotton yeah, or Arches papers, like the, the one I always see that's like the really good stuff. And it's just, to me, what's getting to me is this is a good set of watercolors, but it's not a good, like, primary starter sets. I love core watercolors, but they're just, this is not the colors I would give to someone and be like, here, start watercoloring. And this, the, the little plumster brush just, or the pen just like, I don't know what I think about that. I feel like I would have picked totally different things to go in an $80 box of watercolors. Can the microphone pick me up? Um, Heidi's wearing the lapel. Oh. Dynamic mic, so yeah. Okay. I can do this. Or that. Um, so I don't want to spoil too much because I kind of want like your honest opinion after you've played around with things. Mm -hmm. But I can fill you in on some of those products. I I already gave my my review. I'm glad you can't see it. It hasn't been edited yet. Because <laughs> I don't want to bias you. And uh, people have accused me of having a bit of a bias. So, but I know you don't have any bias because you've never really done art snacks and you're not a YouTuber, but you're very familiar with art supplies and yeah. you review and you write about art supplies because you work for jet pens. So you have a lot of experience with art supplies and you have a lot of experience with watercolor as well, which is why I wanted you to <laughs> look at that box. I was curious if you would feel the same way I felt about it. So you don't have to, whatever you feel, if you like things, that's great. If you don't like things, that's great. playing with all of these things. I don't know how impressed I was with the watercolor paper. I was having a lot of trouble with the colors lifting, even though they were still a bit wet. I can usually do a little bit more blending than that. The brushes I was surprisingly happy with, especially for them being 
uh, I wasn't didn't think I was going to be happy with them, but the the Princeton brushes were pretty good. I do like the core watercolors, and I was surprised with the number of colors I could get out of this six color set, but definitely lacking on some of the nicer blues, like a a phthalo or an ultramarine blue would have been nice. Um, so were you able to mix the kind of reds you wanted from no, that set? No, like I did get a red, but it wasn't super bright. And then I did get some blues, but they were also very muted. So for being really intense colors, it was not giving me the really intense primaries I wanted. So it was it was kind of a weird mix of things. Um, don't think the brushes were worth what the payment or what what the cost of the the set was, but the brushes were probably the best part of it. <laughs> Better than Which the watercolors themselves. The watercolors are the watercolors are good, but only if you've already got another watercolor set, to, and they're just a supplemental color. So you wouldn't recommend this set for somebody looking to get started on watercolor. Uh, no, I would not recommend this as a starter watercolor set. I think people would be very frustrated, it'd be hard to get skin tones unless you really know how to mix well. Uh, it'd be, be hard to get really good, um, really good strong colors, except for the ones you're just given straight out of the tube. I also realize the mic is down there. I don't know if it's going to pick me up oh. at all. Oh, it might be picking both of us up. Okay. Well, you want me to do a take two? No, nah, you can, you can, we can fix it. Okay. Well, if we can't, I'll just have to I'll just um, call you and make you say all of that on the phone. <laughs> You'll get my lovely Skype voice. Okay. If you had to ha hazard a guess who this site, if you had to hazard a guess who this set would be for or marketed to, well, who would you? What would your guess be? Um. When I originally, because I did see the advertisement for it, and I really thought it was originally supposed to be like a very kind of watercolory, you a little bit knew what you were doing sets. You had a little bit of experience with watercolors, but you didn't really have good watercolors type thing. So, so, so like a student looking. To yeah, operate, yeah. And so this still really wouldn't have been the set I would have said uh, that I would have given them. Um. Like it, cause it, there was a higher tier one. I do remember that. And like these paints are nice, but I just, it's not what you're, it's, it's not yeah. what you would be looking for. No, it's just not what I would have been looking for. I would have. How long have you been painting? Oh gosh. Um, I mean, I did a lot of watercolors in my undergrad. So that's been 10 years since I graduated that. So at least a 10, 12 years. What's your background? What do you do for a living? Um, for a living, I actually work at Jet Pens. And so I get to take in and test a lot of the art supplies that they bring in, uh, including watercolors and gouache and other stuff like that. Um, and I get to play with all those. I get to do a lot of reviews and articles on working with those and help out our article writing team on teaching others with those. Um, and then, so I touch a lot of different medias uh, throughout most days or most weeks. Um, so you have a lot of experience with yeah, art supplies. Yeah, so. What, what I'm hinting at. Yeah, I've, I've got a lot of experience with art supplies. This wasn't the worst paper I've ever used. I've seen some where you just start getting this horrible speckling because like the sizing is just not Board good. Sizing. Yeah, yeah. And like that, this wasn't that bad. It just wasn't the best. Um, where can people find more of your art? My art is always up on electricabyss.com. Uh, I don't know if I need to spell that or if you'll just... I can link it in the description. And Perfect. Are you, are you comfortable sharing your Instagram or no? Yeah, my Instagram is also under electricabyss. My site goes to my Instagram, my Tumblr, my Twitter, uh, and my Star Envy. So all those are linked. So if people wanted to commission you for something nice... If they wanted to commission me for something nice, they better be willing to wait for a while because I have a oh, yeah, huge you backlog. Work. Yeah. <laughs> If they love your art and they want more of it, yeah, can they contact you? They can the always contact me. My site has my contact information. It's got my commission information. Everything should be up on there. Well, unless you have more to add with the paints, thank you so much for being a guest and playing with the paints and giving your input. I was really excited that you came <laughs> and played with them because I really wanted another watercolor artist's opinion. I know I can be kind of harsh sometimes, 
Um, so it's always nice to get someone else, even if you had loved everything in the box. Like I would not have loved the Princeton brushes. I haven't even used them, but I already had a bias. And yeah. You came in and you liked them a lot. I liked them more than I thought I was going to really. Yeah. Um, so it's nice to have somebody else come in and take a look at things. Yeah. I mean, ideally, if I was putting together a box, I would have put together the Daniel Smith. Um, they have like a Daniel Smith six pack that is like the the mixing set. Really yeah. Like set. And it's a really good set. It comes in five milliliter tubes, which is a great size for tubes, um, which Smith's great watercolor. Yeah. And, and the mixing set is perfect. It's a warm blue, a warm red, a warm yellow, a cool blue, cool red, cool yellow. So pretty much any color you need, you can get out of that set. Yep. Um, I would have put in. I really have a, a strong bias. I really like the fluid watercolor papers. I've not had much trouble with them at all. Um, and they're very inexpensive. Yeah. Like they're very they're, they're, easy to access. When, when I tell people, like students wanting to get a watercolor paper, I tell them to go with that fluid mm -hmm. watercolor paper. It's inexpensive, but it won't fight you. Yep. Um, so in our next video, I'm going to do an overview of all the supplies, talk prices, and I'm also going to share some alternatives that might be more affordable or might perform better. So I hope you guys will look forward to that. And thank you so much, Heidi, for playing with these supplies today. It was a pleasure to have you. Thanks for having me. All right, bye guys.